Hello, ladies and gentlemen, greetings, Mech Warriors. This is TTB speaking, and welcome back to Mech Warrior Online. Today, we're playing the Virago, the hero mech of the Hellbringer variant, and we are going to play it not in the way that Hellbringers are normally used to be played. No, 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 guys. We are going to play this as a SRM6 brawler that has a little bit of ER medium laser okay. backup. So, as you can see, our left side shoots five ER medium lasers, and the right side, that is the fun side of this mech because it hosts six SRMs and that times four. So that gives us a total firepower of 24 little SRMs that we can shoot towards the enemy. See how I saved myself there because I was making a misspell? <laughs> okay, so we're moving forward here in the Delta 7 area behind the enemy team right now. As you can see, my team is slowly creeping towards uh, Fox 7 Echo 7, that is the Death Valley area of uh, Tormelin Desert. And I'm just trying to see if there is any enemy around here that might be not looking at me and then I can alpha strike him in the back and hopefully make his day a very very bad day however that's not the case right now I uh, can't really shoot these guys down there now the problem with this build is you wanna be using arm lock of course you definitely want to have your weapons in sync and uh, you can't aim that far down so okay. I'm just gonna go back here and help out our teammate I have no idea how the Hellbringer got behind us he must have walked up between uh, Delta 6, Echo 6 and then Echo 7 but that's fine, that's a streak Hellbringer with heavy mediums and ER mediums, that's a weird build. Doesn't matter, let's say hi to him. Like literally, hi. Ah, I missed it a little bit, but that's okay. Let's give him another dose of the old SRMs. And then to the side torso, now it's not quite gone yet. That's fine though, we'll just go ahead and go single missile fire. Pew, 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 there we go, side torso gone and CT should be bye bye. Ooh, and that is a mad cat. Nope, it actually is a black gasp. Okay, my brain is apparently a little bit fried right now, but that's fine. We will go ahead and shoot some more missiles at him while he is distracted, if we can. Boop, there we go. Okay, he's got a lot of weapons though. Yeah, mediums, medium pulses, and UAC 10s. I don't want to tangle with that too much, but I want to get a few missiles in. Uh, the team is still not moving, as you can see, they're still sitting in Echo 7. Uh, apparently, they saw an enemy, and you know how it goes in public sometimes. See enemy, freeze in fear. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more aggression would be nice. Uh, I was uh, talking to the team a little bit just to try them to motivate them to push a little bit forward because we basically have them pushed in on uh, two sides. Now we've got them boxed in, and there's not much we can do unless they start doing something. Okay, I'm gonna put down the airstrike down there and shoot the Thanatos with my ear medium lasers. That's the only reason why I've got these ear mediums. Oh, that was nice. Two ticks actually on that airstrike. Um, you need the ER mediums basically to have a backup weapon that can shoot up to around uh, 500, 600 meters reliably. And the SM Tixes, those are your main damage weapons that you use for brawling. That's a crab coming up, and he's got arm mounted weapons. I don't want to be tangled with him because that's a fight I would actually lose right now. So, I've got a buddy with me, that's good. Let's just try and stay here, not eat that airstrike. Okay, it's gone, that's an Irby down there. It's a little bit stationary right now, and there's not much I can do against that, except just wait out right now. I mean, I can slowly check out if I see anything in Delta 6, so let's just go ahead and go scouting. We do have ECM, so let's see. Nothing here so far, but the fight is pretty much very even right now. Three kills on our side, three kills on the enemy side, so there's not much movement in this whole match. However, since I'm pushing into Echo 6 right now, I might be able to come up behind some targets, like for example that blood asp, yeah he's CT open, can we shoot him, ah never mind, I'll just go on the crab, target delta, now down here the story should be a little bit different, but I need to make sure that I keep um, a little bit of health on my arm, because that is my SRM arm, don't want to lose that, so let's go in on the crab and let him have an alpha strike, hey buddy, boom, how's it going, okay, Let's give some more missiles in his face, and there we go, he's done. Down there is a Kodiak, he should be dead because he is circled in. We are now finally, finally pushing forward, we finally made some good kills, and now it's just a matter of mopping up the rest of the enemy team. And by the way guys, if you enjoy what you're seeing and you say, hey, this is great, I want to support this, then head on over to Patreon and have a look if there's something there for you. And by the way, TTB shirts are still available, check them out in the video description below, you know, aggression wins, speaking about aggression, let's go ahead and aggress a little bit on this guy, uh, bye bye mad dog, okay, and let's move in on the Highlander to see, he is the open and he is said dead, well, that was just a, 
I don't know, like me dusting off the last piece of him. That's fine though, that's fine, I'll take that kill. And uh, luckily we were able to keep our arm, so I'm happy about that. 4 killing blows, 6 assists, 1 solo kill, 1 KMDD, 612 damage done and 11 components taken out. Not a crazy game, but you know what? It was a fun game, and this time I actually did the right thing by choosing to hold myself back a little bit more and not go in as crazily as I normally do it. That would have been a bad, bad choice indeed. Okay, switching over gears, we are now on Mining Collective. Number one thing that I've learned to do in this mech with this build, engage override. If you like to use ER medium lasers but are not too familiar with the build, Definitely engage override from the beginning of the game because the ER mediums together with the SM6s run very, very hot. That's why I also have two cool shots in this round. And now I'm just going to move in with my Timberwolf here, give him a little bit of ECM cover. But uh, I'll try and use my ECM to push in a little bit more aggressively, especially since I see that there's apparently like Lorem boats down there in Delta 3 doing something. Um, guys, if you are on, on that map, you don't want to be the last guys caught out near your flag, so always move with the team, otherwise you're gonna have a problem. Yep, there's some legs, let's just give a little bit of laser licking on these legs. And you know what? If that's a learn boat, those are just backup lasers, and that means that I can aggressively push in here and really, really go ahead and take him out. But I don't know if there's more targets here. That's my problem right now. Right now I just know of one, but there's potentially two or three. So let's have a look. Hello, anybody here? Okay, good, good, nothing here, but I'm still missing something. I'm trying not to touch the flag right now so he doesn't turn around. There he is, okay. Um, let's keep moving. Teammates so far have also been smart and not touched it. Okay, well that teammate has not been so smart, but that's fine. We'll just go on the blood ass here. He is below minimum range for the ATM, so I'm afraid about that. And now we can lay in some shots. Yeah, I'm gonna go push out here. Missed a little bit of the missiles, but his side torso is gone, and we'll give him another one. Oh. Already on the way. And the side torso is very open. One more shot should do it. Well, didn't do it unfortunately, but that's fine. I'll finish him up with the medium lasers and whoop, that is another blood ass coming in. I'm in a little bit of a weird spot right now, but due to me having ECM, they're actually ignoring me a little bit, believe it or not. So I'm just sitting here. No. Ignore me guys, there's nothing happening here. King Crab, that was just SRMs flying below your face, but uh, you know, just ignore me. I don't really exist. I am just your friendly neighborhood hellbringer bringing you hell. Let's shoot this guy in the ass a little bit. Boom. Ah. Didn't kill him though, but he is CT open, yeah, he's one shot. That's fine, we'll just go to King Crab, shooting him with SRMs into the back. That should actually get him to turn around very quickly. Yep, there he goes, and there he blows, taken out by the teammate with the medium lasers into the back. Little Aki Cheetah, yeah, buddy. You don't want to be in this spot right now, let's see, can we? Give him another one, yep, there we go, and he goes down. As you can see, if you go into a prolonged brawl, you need to be very careful with the mediums because you will run very, very hot indeed. Okay, that teammate was smoking a lot. <laughs> Lost his arms there. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the kill shot on the Marauder here. Sad face. Uh, let's see, can we try again? Ah, still not enough. Still not enough, and I'm cooking myself in my mech here. Ah, okay. No need to die here. It's a Phoenix up with an open CT. Uh, let's keep him in mind. But uh, let's see, uh, he's an assault mech in Delta 4, and uh, he is currently getting engaged by one of our assaults. Um, and he actually took out one of our teammates. That is sad, because otherwise it would have been a perfect game. But he gets taken out. Perfect. Okay, so the last guy alive is indeed that Phoenix Hawk down there. So let's just announce our presence. And uh, let's see, maybe we can Charlie try and take out his leg or something. Nope. Okay, well, Never mind. Nope. he gets taken out through the CT. Nice. That was Good a little game. bit of a swamp, but uh, aggression wins, guys. But I always say, we just push them in and we close it up. And uh, good job, team. So, zero killing blows, but that's fine. And nine assists, five kill, most damage dealt, six components taken out, 683 damage done in this Virago build right here. And I think it is actually pretty interesting. It, it is a Hellbringer you normally don't see, so if you have the Virago, go ahead and try it out. It's definitely worth it. And you can do all the other normal Hellbringer builds with this mech, of course, as well, and get the 30% Seabill bonus. Okay, let's talk about the build real quick. Hellbringer Virago with the um, right arm and the uh, Hellbringer B right torso, four SRM6s, 
clan ECM, 5 clan EM medium lasers, and the rest is just ammo and heatsinks. Thanks for watching guys, see you soon!